It was a bitterly cold winter morning when life threw a curveball at Emily Thompson, a curveball that would change the course of her existence forever. As the snowflakes danced outside her window, she lay in bed, her body weakened by an illness that seemed to have come out of nowhere. Little did she know, this was just the beginning of a journey that would lead her to discover a new purpose in life. Emily had always been a picture of health. At 38, she was an avid runner, a dedicated mother to her two children, Lily and Ben, and a loving wife to her husband, Michael. Their life in the picturesque town of Willow Creek was idyllic, filled with laughter, love, and shared dreams. But everything changed on that fateful day. It started with a persistent fatigue that Emily couldn't shake off. She blamed it on her busy schedule, juggling work and family responsibilities. But soon, the fatigue was accompanied by a relentless pain in her joints and a fever that refused to break. Concerned, Michael insisted she see a doctor. The diagnosis was a shock. Emily had contracted a rare autoimmune disease that attacked her body's tissues, leaving her bedridden and in constant pain. The doctors prescribed a rigorous treatment plan, but recovery seemed like a distant dream. As Emily grappled with the reality of her condition, Michael received a call from his company. He had been offered a promotion, a dream opportunity that required him to relocate to another city for six months. It was a chance he had worked towards for years, but the timing couldn't have been worse. Michael was torn. He couldn't bear the thought of leaving Emily and the children during such a difficult time. But Emily, always the supportive partner, encouraged him to take the opportunity. Win manage, she assured him, masking her own fears. This is your chance, Michael. We can't let my illness hold you back. With a heavy heart, Michael agreed, promising to visit every weekend and call every day. As he packed his bags, Emily watched, trying to suppress the growing sense of abandonment. She knew he needed to take this step, but the thought of facing her illness without him by her side was terrifying. The first few weeks were the hardest. Emily struggled with the pain, the fatigue, and the overwhelming loneliness. A mother moved in to help with the kids, but Emily felt like a burden, unable to contribute to her family or her life in any meaningful way. One sleepless night, as Emily lay in bed staring at the ceiling, she heard a soft knock on her door. It was her neighbor, Mrs. Henderson, an elderly woman who had become a dear friend over the years. I brought you some tea, Mrs. Henderson said with a gentle smile, and I thought we could talk. As they sipped their tea, Mrs. Henderson shared stories of her own struggles and how she had found solace in unexpected places. You know, Emily, when my husband passed away, I thought my life was over. But I discovered that even in the darkest times, there's always a glimmer of hope, a new purpose waiting to be found. Those words resonated with Emily. She realized that she had been so consumed by her illness that she had forgotten to look for the silver lining. She decided then and there that she would not let her condition define her. She would find a new purpose, a new way to contribute to her family and her community. Emily had always loved painting but had never found the time to pursue it seriously. Now, confined to her bed, she decided to pick up a brush and let her emotions flow onto the canvas. She started with simple sketches, gradually moving to more complex pieces. Each stroke of the brush brought her a sense of peace and fulfillment that she hadn't felt in months. Her mother noticed the change in her. Emily, your paintings are beautiful. You should share them with the world, she suggested. Encouraged by her mother's words, Emily decided to start a blog where she could showcase her artwork and share her journey. She wrote about her struggles, her triumphs, and the healing power of art. To her surprise, the blog gained a following. People from all over the world reached out, sharing their own stories and finding inspiration in Emily's resilience. As Emily's blog grew, so did her sense of purpose. She realized that she wasn't alone in her struggles and that she had the power to make a difference in others' lives. She began hosting virtual art classes, teaching others how to express their emotions through painting. The classes became a source of joy and connection, not just for Emily, but for everyone involved. Emily's children, Lily and Ben, also got involved. They helped her with the technical aspects of the blob and even joined her in the art classes. It became a family project bringing them closer together and giving them a sense of unity and purpose. Michael, too, noticed the change in Emily during his weekend visits. I'm so proud of you, he told her one evening. You've turned something so difficult into something so beautiful. One day, 
As Emily was going through the messages on her blog, she received an anonymous email. It was a simple message, but it sent shivers down her spine. Asterisk your illness was not an accident. Look closer. Asterisk. Emily was puzzled and alarmed. What could this mean? She shared the message with Michael and her mother, who were equally bewildered. They decided to investigate further, but without any clues, it seemed like a dead end. Determined to find answers, Emily began to piece together the events leading up to her illness. She reviewed her medical records, retraced her steps, and spoke to her doctors. Slowly, a pattern emerged. She realized that she had fallen ill shortly after starting a new medication prescribed by her previous doctor, Dr. Reed. Emily remembered feeling uneasy about Dr. Reed, who had seemed overly eager to prescribe the medication without fully explaining its potential side effects. She decided to dig deeper into his background and discovered that he had a history of malpractice lawsuits and had been under investigation for unethical practices. With the help of Michael and a lawyer, Emily gathered evidence and filed a formal complaint against Dr. Reed. The investigation revealed that the medication had been part of an experimental trial and Dr. Reed had been receiving kickbacks for prescribing it to his patients without their informed consent. The revelation was a shock, but it also brought a sense of closure. Emily's illness had not been a random misfortune, but a result of someone else's greed and negligence. She felt a renewed sense of purpose, not just for herself, but for others who might have suffered at the hands of the same doctor. With Dr. Reed's malpractice exposed, Emily's story gained national attention. Her blog became a platform for advocacy, raising awareness about medical ethics and patient rights. She worked with legal experts and healthcare professionals to create resources and support systems for others who had been affected by similar issues. Emily's art also took on a new dimension. She began creating pieces that reflected her journey, her pain, and her triumphs. Her work was featured in galleries and exhibitions, and she donated the proceeds to organizations supporting autoimmune disease research and patient advocacy. Through it all, Emily's family stood by her side. Michael's career had taken a backseat to his role as a supportive husband and father. Lally and Ben, inspired by their mother's strength, found their own ways to contribute, volunteering, and raising awareness in their school and community. As the months turned into years, Emily's health improved. The treatment, combined with her newfound purpose and the support of her family and community, had brought about a remarkable recovery. She still faced challenges, but she faced them with a resilience and determination that had been forged in the crucible of her experiences. Emily's journey had come full circle. From the depths of despair, she had emerged stronger, with a new purpose that gave her life meaning and direction. She had turned her pain into a source of strength, not just for herself, but for countless others who had found hope and inspiration in her story. Years later, as Emily looked back on her journey, she felt a deep sense of gratitude. She had learned that even in the darkest times, there is always a glimmer of hope, a new purpose waiting to be found. Her illness had been a catalyst for change, leading her to discover a strength she never knew she had. As she sat in her garden, Surrounded by her family and the beauty of her art, Emily smiled. She had found her purpose, and in doing so, had created a legacy of strength, resilience, and hope.